welcome back to my kitchen my name's nancy and today i'm going to show you all my version of meatloaf um i do i do have ingredients that are a little bit different than the normal meatloaf that you'd see i'm gonna today i'm using ground chicken i have um onion soup mix and breadcrumbs an egg granulated garlic salt pepper cajun seasoning a block of mozzarella cheese and tomato paste okay and what we want to do i want to add my spices to this my breadcrumbs and onion soup mix and my egg okay all right and then with clean hands you want to go in and mix everything together the egg and the breadcrumbs is what's acting as your binder for this to make it stick together as a loaf and you also want to at this point you want to have your oven preheated to 350 Okay, once you have everything well combined, you want to have your loaf pan ready, and you're going to put half this mixture in the bottom, spread it out evenly, okay, once you have your first layer, then that's when you're going to add your block of mozzarella, put it right in the center, push it down a little bit. And then you're gonna add the remaining of your meat mixture. Make sure it's nice and even and it covers up the cheese. All right, you wanna just make sure it's nice and even and then you're gonna top your mixture with your tomato paste. I like using tomato paste instead of ketchup because it's thicker. Um, it's a more rich flavor than just the, you know, average just tomato uh, ketchup. So it gives it just a better flavor. So you want to make sure that's even all over your entire meatloaf. And then once you have it evenly all over your entire meatloaf, you do want to cover it with tin foil. We're going to pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Um, at the halfway mark, you want to check on it and take the tin foil off because you do want to develop some color on the top. So I'll show you what that looks like at the halfway point. Okay, our meatloaf's out of the oven and it smells so good. I can't even tell you. So let's serve some up on our plate. See the cheese oozing out of it already. Looks so good. Mm. Like I said, this isn't like a traditional meatloaf. Um, this is a recipe that my dad always made when I was growing up younger. He always stuffed his meatloaf with cheese. Can you see that cheese oozing out? So good. And so this is just how I always remember eating meatloaf. So let's get a bite and let's get a bite of the cheese and the meat. All right, let's give this a taste. Mmm. It's delicious. It's tender, it's juicy, it's really good with the cheese. Like I said, it is an untraditional way of making meatloaf, but you gotta give it a try. Serve it with a side salad. You got a great dinner on your hands. Um, if you do want to recreate this, I have the recipe and the instructions down below. And I really hope you give it a try and let me know what you think. And thank you for watching.